I'm Clayton Walker, and I'll be reading for Young Man from Pulp Fiction. Hi, I'm Priscilla Gonzalez, and I will be reading for Young Woman in Pulp Fiction. No, forget it. It's too risky. I'm through doing that shit. You always say that, the same thing every time. Never again. I'm through it. Too dangerous. I, I, I know that's what I always say. I, I'm always right, too, but... But you forgot about it in a day or two. So you want to rob banks? So you want to rob banks? Oops, sorry. I, I'm not saying I want to rob banks. I, I'm just saying that if we did, it would be easier than what we've been doing. So you don't want to be a bank robber? All, all those guys are going down the same road, either dead or serving 20. And no more liquor stores? What have we been talking about? Yeah, no more liquor stores. Uh, besides, it ain't the giggle it used to be. Uh, too many foreigner, foreigners own liquor stores. Vietnamese, Koreans, they can't fucking speak English. Uh, you tell them, empty out, empty out the register, and they don't know what it fucking means. They, they make it too personal. Uh, we keep on, and one of these motherfuckers is going to make us kill him. I'm not going to kill anybody. I don't want to kill anybody either, but they'll probably put us in a situation where it's us or, or where it's us or them, and if it's not them, then, then it's the Jews who own the store for the 15th fucking generations. You got Grandpa Irving sitting behind the counter with a fucking magnum. Try walking into one of those stores with nothing but a telephone and see how far it gets you. <sighs> Fuck it, let's just forget it. We're, we're out of it. Well, what else is there? Day job? <laughs> not this life. Well, what then? Well, this place. Here? It's a coffee shop. What's wrong with that? People never rob restaurants. Why not? Bars, liquor stores, gas stations. You get your head blown off sticking up one of them. Restaurants, on the other hand, you can catch them with their pants down. They're not expecting to get robbed. Or not as expecting. I bet in a place like this, you could cut down on the hero factor. Correct. Just like the banks, these, place, these places are insured. The managers don't give a fuck. They're just trying to get you out the door before you start plugging diners. Uh, waitresses, forget it. They ain't taking a bullet for the register. Busboy, uh, some wetback and paid a dollar fifty an hour is gonna really give you, gonna really give, give a fuck you. Sorry. Busboys, uh, some wetback getting paid a dollar fifty an hour are gonna really give a fuck if you're stealing from the owner? Uh, customers are sitting there with food in their mouths. They don't know what's going on. One minute they're having a Denver omelet, next minute somebody's sticking a gun in their face. See, I got the idea last liquor store. I got the idea the last liquor store we set stuck up. Remember all those customers that kept coming in? Yeah. Then you got the idea to start taking everybody's wallets. Uh-huh. That was a good idea. Thanks. We made more from the wallets than we did from the register. Yes, we did. A lot of people go to restaurants. A lot of wallets. It's pretty smart, huh? Pretty smart. I'm ready. Let's go. Right here, right now. Remember, same as before, your crowd control, I'll handle the employees. Got it. I love you, pumpkin. I love you, honey bun. Everybody be cool, this is a robbery. And if you fucking pricks move and I'll execute every one of you motherfuckers, got it? So, so, you say you've been robbing banks, like, for how long? Like, Yeah, I mean, I usually don't tell people this on the very first date, the first time that we're meeting, but yeah, I rob banks. Well, yeah, for like, okay. I, I've been at it for I like, usually, years, a couple years now. I mean, I usually do liquor stores. I mean, it's just like, it's nice to be able to, like, talk to someone about this, you know? Yeah, totally. You don't really need... People that, you know, you do, you're into the same thing. Right. I mean, I just, and I always get so like, I don't know, like nervous. And I always just, I feel like to have someone like to, you know, share this with or, or I mean, hey, if you ever want to like, you know, try something out, like, I don't know, like. Yeah, I bet if we team up, we'll be so much better. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, 
I mean, obviously, like, you know, I, I, I probably have to, like, get to know, like, I mean, like, how, how do you usually, like, go about planning this kind of stuff? Because, like, I have my own system, but, like, I don't know. I usually just go with the flow, just whatever I feel like at the moment. Really? Don't you ever get, like, nervous about, like, getting caught or killed? Like, have you ever been caught? Like, I've been almost caught a couple of times, but I don't really get nervous. I'm so used to it now. Yeah, I, I always, I always like feel like I need to plan ahead for this kind of stuff because you, you know how like dangerous it can get. Like you know, it's just you know I, I guess I need someone who who would be able to like I don't know go with the flow or, or like what you said. Yeah, I guess I could use someone to really help me plan things out. So you know, so nothing could ever go bad. Yeah, and I mean, I've just been, I've been, I've been thinking like, for as much as I like rob banks and liquor stores, I, I mean, forget it. It's too risky. I, I'm through doing that shit. Really? Yeah, I mean, I just, I, I feel like it'd be, it'd be make much more sense to, to try something else. I mean, I mean, there's so many things that could go wrong with it. Maybe you're right. No, forget it. It's too risky. I'm through doing that shit. You always say that. The same thing every time. Never again. I'm through. Too dangerous. I, I, I know that's always what I say. I'm, I'm, I'm always right too, but... But you forget about it in a day or two. So you want to rob banks. I'm not saying I want to rob banks. I I'm just saying if we did, it would be easier than, you know, what we've been doing. So you don't want to be a bank robber? No, nah, all those guys are going down the same road. Either they're dead or serving 20. And no more liquor stores? What have we been talking about? Yeah, no more liquor stores. Besides, it ain't the giggle it used to be. Uh, too many foreigners foreigners own liquor stores, and Vietnamese, Korean, they can't fucking speak English. And you tell them, that'd be out of the register, and they don't know what it fucking means. They make it too personal. We keep on, one of these motherfuckers is gonna make us kill them. I'm not gonna kill anybody. Yeah, I don't want to kill anybody either, but they'll probably put us in a situation where it's us or them, and... And if it's not them, then it's the Jews who've owned the stores for 15 fucking generations. You got Grandpa Irving sitting behind the counter with a fucking magnum. <laughs> Trying to walk into one of those stores with nothing but a telephone. See how far it gets you. But fuck it. Just forget it. We're out of it. Well, what else is there? Day jobs? <laughs> not this life. Well, then what? This place. Here? It's a coffee shop. Well, what's wrong with that? People never rob restaurants. Why not? Bars, liquor stores, gas stations, you get your head blown off sticking up one of them. Restaurants, on the other hand, you catch them with your pants down. They're not expecting to get robbed, or not as expecting. I bet in places like this, you could cut down on the hero factor. Correct, correct. Just like the banks, these places are insured. The managers don't give a fuck. They're just trying to get you out the door before you start plugging diners. Uh, waitresses, forget it. They ain't taking a bullet for the register. Uh, bus boys, some wet back getting paid a dollar fifty an hour, really gonna give a fuck if you're stealing from the owner? Uh, customers are sitting there with food in their mouths. They don't know what's going on. One minute they're having a Denver omelet, next minute somebody's sticking a gun in their face. <sighs> See, I got the idea last liquor store we stuck up. Remember all those customers that kept coming in? Yeah. And then you got the idea to take everybody's wallets. Uh-huh. That was a good idea. Thanks. We made more from the wallets than we did at the register. Yes, we did. A lot of people go to restaurants. A lot of wallets. Pretty smart, huh? Pretty smart. I'm ready. Let's go. Right here, right now. Remember, the same as before, your crowd control, I'll handle the employees. Got it. Love you, pumpkin. Love you, honey bun. Everybody be cool, this is a robbery! 
any of you, you fucking pricks moving all that because you, every one of you motherfuckers got it.